I finally returned for some more Transformers after almost an entire month hiatus, and I initially was just gonna cover the final battle between Optimus versus Megatron, but then I realized that it was way too short for me to make a full video on. So I said, you know what? I'll just combine it with Optimus versus Bumblebee from the one I did two months ago, so you guys get to see both fights in one video. And if you guys could please smash that subscribe button right now, that'll help me out a lot because I will be covering Transformers Prime next, so y'all don't wanna miss out on that. Okay, boom. The fight starts off with Optimus and Bumblebee trying to make it out alive from the water before they get turned into a Pokemon that ran out of breath. The last thing they want is to get killed by natural causes. But wait, hold on. I might actually be dumb because I don't think robots need air to survive. I definitely got that flight reacts type of IQ. That's a duck, right? Or that's a pelican. So Bumblebee tosses a hammer at Prime's feet. Like, bro, tell me what exactly that was gonna do for you. That attack was the equivalent of Jake Paul throwing a punch because that obviously is gonna have zero effect on him. Like I'm pretty sure Bumblebee could have came up with a better move than that because you are not Mudflap, you actually know how to fight bro. Optimus tries landing a left jab on Bumblebee but he pulls out the most majestic backflip I've ever seen. So Optimus plunges out of the water with Bumblebee hanging onto his leg. And bro, when I first saw this fight, it took me a good minute to actually comprehend the fact that two Autobots are actually fighting. Like you guys are on the same team. Y'all have been homies since 2007. All that friendship gone down the drain. But, but anywho, anywho, Bumblebee uses his hammer and lands a clean reverse straight onto Prime's cranium. Had that man reconsidering if he should have ever betrayed the Autobots, that man is a pure traitor, a disgrace to his own kind even. I knew Prime was cooked the moment Bumblebee knocked the shield out of Prime's hand. He had no type of defense to block himself from getting attacked, no sword, no nothing. So Bumblebee jumps into the air and slams Optimus Prime's head straight into the ground. And I know his head looks like Tyler 1 after getting striked in the head two times in a row. That man Bumblebee really smacked the remaining brain cells out of Optimus's head. And I don't know what was going through Cade Yeager's head, but this man is literally getting hit with a life-threatening tsunami, and he decides that the best option is to run right towards the water that's coming right for him. Like bro, how many chromosomes do you got left in your brain? Cause this man Cade makes Patrick Starr look like a smart person, because what did you actually think that would accomplish except for killing you? And Cade starts screaming as if he didn't expect that he would start drowning in the water. I don't know what to tell this man, except that he's a complete donkey. Maybe Maybe start running away from the water next time, maybe that will help you buddy. So Bumblebee tries hitting Optimus with his hammer, but he luckily blocks both of his attacks and then Bumblebee reads him like a book and does a backflip to dodge Prime's sword. And I'm not even gonna lie, you gotta give props to Bumblebee for even standing up to Optimus because this man isn't even in his weight class and he's holding up against an evil version of Optimus that's fully powered up. But this is where Optimus starts cooking because we all knew that Bumblebee was still gonna get worked. So Optimus is like, I am Nemesis Prime. And I know Bumblebee heard that and was like, what? What's a Nemesis Prime? The only Prime I know is Optimus. I know Bumblebee was crapping his pants when he heard that. Optimus grabs Bumblebee and elbows him in the head, but this man wasn't playing around because he picks him up like he's Bumblebee's father. Like I'm telling you, he was straight sunning this man. He had no remorse for his actions. He had nothing to lose. This man literally breaks off Bumblebee's parts and then says, you are nothing. Like this variant of Optimus Prime was really on demon timing. He was quite literally on Megatron's level when it came to causing havoc. So Optimus tosses Bumblebee to the ground. Like bro, what did Bumblebee even do to deserve this? He's just trying to protect the planet for real. I don't see any wrong in doing that. But you already know what time it is. Bumblebee puts on the shicey and this is where I knew things were gonna get real serious. We know what Bumblebee is capable of once he puts on that mask. So Bumblebee smacks Optimus to the ground, had that man hitting the now talk post like a Gotham City resident. Optimus was not familiar with Bumblebee's game because he had this man knocked out like he was out for the count. Someone throw in the towel. So Bumblebee comes flying in with the most egregious finisher but somehow it does absolutely no damage on Optimus and then he starts stomping all over this man and I'm not even gonna lie. It was looking like it was game over for Optimus. And Optimus Prime is so lucky cause he gets bailed out. And low key Bumblebee would have won if they didn't get hit by that wave of water because Bumblebee was straight cooking this man Optimus. He was going for straight headshots giving Optimus a nasty case of CTE. So then they come tumbling down the platform and then Optimus grabs Bumblebee and gives him that Miguel O'Hara treatment and just constantly slams him to the ground. Like bro, 
Why are you so angry? Calm down. And Optimus was really about to take off Bumblebee's entire head. But he suddenly activates the Shiesty right in time to prevent himself from getting chopped apart. So right before Optimus is about to turn Bumblebee into a pack, he starts talking some sense into Optimus. Uh, I am Bumblebee, your oldest friend. Optimus. And Bumblebee's voice alone was enough for Optimus to come back to his senses like he's Omni-Man, and he finally reverts back to the good old Optimus. Then Optimus proceeds to pull out the most iconic quote in Transformers history. What have I done? Like this beating that Optimus gave Bumblebee was unforgettable, because I'ma be 60 years old and still remember what Optimus did to this man. Like I don't know if I can claim Optimus as my favorite Transformer anymore. So after Optimus Prime beat the living daylights out of Bumblebee, we all knew he wasn't gonna get off the leash just because he was the leader of the Autobots. The universe required correction and Optimus Prime had to be sentenced to death by the Guardian Knights as they all gathered to jump Optimus for attempting to kill his own kind. The Guardian Knights straight up start hammering Optimus Prime and the humans are in complete shambles right now because they tried every tactic in the book to help Optimus. But we all know screaming was not gonna work so K just comes in out of nowhere and hits the slip and slide like he's gonna save the day like superman like who does bro think he is like i guarantee you if she wasn't watching right now kate would have just dipped on optimus like come on let's be real so kate starts talking to optimus exactly how max was speaking to adam in real steel and he's like get up you chose the wrong side and the guardian knights show absolutely no remorse for prime's actions because they start bashing prime repeatedly with their axes all because he was simping for quintessa back on planet cybertron like this man optimus is shameful he really chose a robot mermaid over his best friend take that in for a second do you know how crazy that sounds kate saw his own man's getting violated by the guardian knights and said oh nah i gotta intervene i can't let prime go out like this and so right as one of the guardian knights is about to land the finishing blow this man kate on some anime timing somehow turns his arm into a blade and stops optimus prime from getting sent to the grave now as trash as the last night really is this has to be top five moments in the entire franchise you can go argue with your pet snail because look at how wow. cold this frame looks but hold on, I don't know in what world a normal human is blocking a blow from a 500 pound giant. But hey, it, oh, it is, is what it is. It is, is what it, it is. is. Kate really is the chosen one. He started showing off his sword like he was Zelda. And I know he felt like the hardest person on the entire planet with that save that he just pulled off. And as soon as the background music started playing, this is where I knew the Autobots were about to team back up as a group and start cooking the Decepticons. So the scene kicks off with Optimus jumping off of his Ender Dragon to get ready to fight against Megatron's entire crew. Like you know Optimus had to spin the block on Megatron after how he was stepping all over Prime and even ran his pockets. Like bro is this pose not crazy to you? Like Optimus was bound to crash out after how badly he just got disrespected. He was not gonna let that slide. Optimus slides behind Infernicus and uses the Guardian Sword to slice him apart like a watermelon and then he proceeds to call him an ugly mess. But Prime is not done yet though cause he pulls out one of the most memorable cults of all time a certified classic did you forget who i am man i can never get sick of those optimus prime one-liners like all he said was did you forget who i am but it still hit harder than my parents belt like optimus is really the king when it comes to instagram captions he just doesn't miss so they all rush at optimus prime only for bro to hit a clean sword swipe taking off all of their heads at one time and then bro proceeds to say i i'm optimus prime like dog we get it man you don't have to say this every single movie we know what your name is bro and before we get into the main course might as well smash the subscribe button if you're here already now we really cut to the action and it starts off with these two idiots going towards the explosion resulting in them tumbling and rolling across the floor and don't act surprised if you guys get disintegrated into small pieces like a nature valley bar because as humans you should be hiding from the decepticons not running into their base like this should be common sense kate is really in the wrong place at the wrong time he should be at home with his daughter not in the middle of a cybertronian war and bro don't even get me started with shorty over here i don't even know her name like what are you ducking under she's really acting like we can't see her even though she's in plain sight so the autobots start tackling megatron and just doing whatever they can to put an end to megatron's and quintessa's evil actions and we see hound barely dodge that attack but then megatron gets trapped in some sort of bubble which sets up hound perfectly because he starts spamming his machine gun and makes megatron fall down on all fours i ain't gonna lie i'm getting cooked bumblebee sneaks up from behind and starts hanging onto megatron's back like nah i'm actually weak what does bumblebee actually think he can do bro is 
is like 10 times smaller than Megatron. Look at the size difference. Bumblebee is really trying his hardest to be a part of the team. Hard over height, but I respect it though. So Megatron takes Bumblebee off of his back and smacks him to the ground like a side character. But Optimus Prime being the realist joins the battle and chops off Megatron's arm making this nasty liquid come out of his body. Like ew, bro, what is that? Gatorade? So then Megatron grabs Prime's sword and then gives him a nasty headbutt. And right as he's about to slice off Prime's head, he pulls out the most sensational quote known to mankind. Brothers once. That one almost put a tear to my eye. And you know what? Now that I'm going back to the last night, this final battle was really perfect. 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 Everything, Everything down, down to, to the, the last, last minute details. Minute. But Optimus Prime heard that and he's like, we? we? What do you mean we? We're not brothers anymore. We've been beefing for over a decade. We're enemies now. So the inner savage inside of Prime starts to take over completely. And then he outpowers Megatron and follows up with a mean karate kick, sending him flying out of the ship to who knows where. I'm not even gonna lie. Megatron's KD ratio is garbage bro really got killed three times and came back to life for no reason i think we can all agree after 2007 megatron just doesn't hit the same as a villain anymore so quintessa tries avenging megatron by electrocuting optimus prime but then he says say hello to my friend and bumblebee comes in clutch by blasting quintessa out of existence but after putting up that spectacular performance he ends with the corniest quote i've ever heard sting like a bee brother this guy stinks and the movie ends with this fire scene where all the Autobots posted up on the block after wiping out the Decepticons and everything is finally back to normal. But except for one thing, we have billions of dollars in property damage, nothing too serious, the Avengers can relate. But yeah, that's the end of the video and I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one and if you're already here, might as well hit that subscribe button if you made it to the very end. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon for Transformers Prime and I'm out.